you've made it to part three of our practice exam review series. Let's get straight into it and look at the next question on the practice exam. Give an example of one way an audience has had influence over the media. For this question, you really need to talk about the audience influencing the media specifically, not just the audience having an influence over society through the media. You may have written about the impact of social media in this question, but if you do mention something like feedback, for example, make sure you are addressing specifically how that feedback is given. Responses to this question should explore a case study or a piece of research that explores how an audience may have had some kind of influence over the media. Examples may include the use of rating systems, social media integrations into other media, the use of social media to communicate with media producers, the use of social media campaigns, etc, etc. Don't just talk about how audiences have had an impact on society through social media. Make sure it's related to the influence of the audience to media creators or producers. That's important. For this sort of question, you need to give a clear example of a way that an audience has had influence over the media. So you should name the audience, the type of influence, and the media that has been influenced. Very specific. Question number 10. Give an example of one way the media has had influence over an audience. Let me read you an example of a response that I thought was pretty good. Social media platforms have paved the way for many individuals to rise to the status of influencer. With the growing popularity of influencers, more and more people are being influenced by them. Viral challenges like the cinnamon challenge saw many individuals consume unhealthy amounts of cinnamon. These viral challenges are direct result of the influence social media and the entities it creates have over a public. Uh, but it would be remiss of me not to add that the challenge is difficult and carries substantial health risks because of the cinnamon coats and dries the mouth and throat resulting in coughing, gagging, vomiting and inhaling of cinnamon leading to throat irritation, breathing difficulties and risk of pneumonia or a collapsed lung. So don't do it. Dangerous. Responses to this question should explore a case study or piece of research that explores how a media form, technology, organisation or product may have had some kind of influence over an audience. This influence may include changing how an audience acts or thinks. Examples may include advertising as persuasion, violent media and younger audiences or social media usage and teenagers. The next question is, government agencies will often use the media to attempt to enact control over specific audiences. Describe one way a government has used the media and how effective they were. So this question really wants you to think about not just how the government uses the media in general, but the question actually says how has the government used the media and how successful they were. So that suggests that you should use a specific example or a case study. In fact, this guide says that responses to this question should explore a case study of a public service media campaign by a government or a government agency to attempt to change the actions or thoughts around a specific topic. Examples include TAC campaigns, violence against women, anti-gambling campaigns. Responses should rate effectiveness by the use of some kind of data. For example, in this video, we've got the TAC ad that came out a few years ago that shows that speeding is not cool by the way they do that, that sort of gesture. There's been so many TAC ads over the years that use shock value to try and educate the audience. Whether it was effective or not, well, it's a matter of looking at the data, isn't it? So TAC put out their own data that shows that they're having an impact on the road toll which is great and certainly the road toll has gone down over the years despite the rise in population in Victoria. But we also have to consider, is this also because of everything else that the police are doing? Is it changes to legislation in government or is it just because of the TAC advertising? These are just some of the factors that need to be considered. And that's it for this video. I will see you in part four. And don't forget to check out the other videos at the end of this video.